the personnel may be different but a second successive flap championship performance and the recriminations, or, cat stuff, as Mikey Sheehy described it, have resurfaced and carry. Shane Enright wasn't involved against Galway and hopes to be in clones this Sunday having recovered from damaging ankle ligaments. But the reaction to this latest setback will have brought him back to August 2017 when he might have wished the ground opened up and swallowed him. Andy Moran's performances against Enright over those two games went a long way to him securing the Footballer of the Year award, 1-5 in the drawn match and 1-1 in the replay. The postmortem in Kerry wasn't pretty for the Tarbert man. Personally, it was tough. I didn't perform in either of the Mayo games. I was marking Andy Moran and he went on and won Player of the Year. He was playing very well at the time. I tried to keep the head down and stay away from it. But down in Kerry there is always going to be flack if you are not playing well and they are expecting all Ireland's every year. But that's the pressure that comes with it. That's the nature of it. We had just to put the head down, knuckle down hard and keep at it. Enright's family weren't so lucky. His mother Stella was subjected to some nasty comments about her son. My mother was at the list of wall races and she got a bit of criticism about me, which is a bit over the top. Wouldn't mind them saying it to myself but when you are getting stuff like that, what was said was just something over the goal the second day which Andy Moran got. She didn't know them very well anyway. Ah, uh, she wasn't too upset, she takes it in her stride as well. But it's not a nice thing to happen, the injuries this year, a hamstring problem towards the end of the league preceded his ankle woe, have hampered his ambition to move on from those duels against Moran, you want to come back to try and put things right more than anything. The worst thing about losing at that stage of the championship is that it's another four or five months before you can try to put things right and play again. You just knuckle down and try to stay away from the media and stay away from the negative influences. There are going to be ups and downs in the next few weeks. Players that will have lost form, have a poor game, they just have to get the head right again and try come back and perform. Jason Foley's injury, doubts about TADHG Morley's fitness and Killian Young's suspension might create more of an opening for Enright heading to St. Tiernox Park I'm clones. A stroke of luck would be novel for him as he has seen younger defenders take up the mantle. Now aged 30, it would be perfectly normal to feel older with the new recruits like David Clifford drafted in this year, you still feel like one of the young fellas around the place, you don't realize that you are kind of the experienced man now at 30. I suppose you do though when you see the likes of David and these fellas coming in, David works with me in Bank of Ireland so we'd be hopping stuff off each other every day, having a bit of crack. I suppose when you are hanging around with those guys it kind of keeps you feeling young as well. He has a good head on his shoulders, Shane Enright against Mayo last year and right marked Connor McManus and carries Division 1 defeat to Monaghan in Inneskeen in February and knows he's the danger again from play and freeze this weekend. He is an unbelievable kicker of the football. You saw that point he kicked from the sideline recently, v Tyrone. Other players you wouldn't be telling them to shoot from there, but even if he has got the ball 45 yards from goal you have got to be as tight as if he is 20 yards from goal because he will kick scores from anywhere. You try and put them on their weak side, but with a player like that, he is going to have two good legs to kick with. It's not easy if he gets a yard, all you can do is put as much pressure on him as possible. The one thing we have worked hard on between league and championship was tackling. I think it's going well so far, we are not giving away many frees. We're tackling hard but fair. The big thing is not to be fouling. There is no point giving away easy frees especially to someone like Connor McManus.